Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Now I'd like to go through the virtual machine of Pico Luke on the Chahakmi, and I have already start up the this box. As you can see, the this is the IP address for this box, and also I use the attacks attack box. Which is provided by the Chahakmi, rather than local Kanin Linux. And、uh, so here, on the right side, this is our attack box or Kanin Linux over the browser. And、uh, I have already did the map scanning with the option of since again the verse versus again. The default script scan. So for the from the map scanning results, as you can see, the two open ports. The first one is twenty two, which is running SSH surface, and also the actual version information. And then is eighty, which is running HTTP surface, and the actual version information, which is Apache two. So I think now we need to do the emulation for the eighty port. Now let's open up our browser. Okay, and、uh, let's put the IP address of the virtual machine. Okay, help multi. And、uh, we can check the source code for this page. As you can see, this is we have already got the user name. This one, we can make a copy onto our Sublime text editor, in case we need to use this information later. And then, but、uh, just now we got the user name Ernie. We didn't get the password, of course. Then we can use the Hydra to crack the password for this user. If you assume that this user name is used by the SSH, but before we do any cracking things, we need to do the emulation for web applications, right? And next, we can check. If the site has a robots file, yeah, it has. So I think this may be the password. We can make a copy and、uh, note it down onto the Sublime text editor. So of course you can you can try to use this. Compilations of the username and the password to log in the target via SSH, but you will not succeed at all. And next, I think we need to use some sort of the emulation tool for the web application like Ligeto. You know when we do the web application emulation, the Ligeto is always our first tool. As you can see, the, yeah, Ligeto has identified the login file or entry. So maybe we can use the compilations of username and the password what we have already got just now, and try to log in to this page. We can log in, log in, log in. Okay, and we can copy the user name and、uh, password. To see whether this is working, 
log in. So I think we have already successfully logged in, and uh, here we can run command. I think this is some sort of the web shell. For example, we can run the command id. So I think now we need to get the initial photo hold, or get the normal shell rather than web shell. And to do that, we need to set up listener first on the Kali Linux. We can set up the listener and the port number. I'd like to use is five five five. Of course, you can use whatever port number you wish. And let's go back to our browser. And then we need to find some ways to run the reverse shell command, and we can get the help from the reverse shell cheat sheet. And we can use this one. Yeah, this website is always my one of my favorite website. Uh, together with the pen test monkey, and uh, here, of course, you can try different ways, like a bash. But、um, I tried, for example, this one, and also, yeah, the the bash, yeah, this one, but、uh, they are not、uh, working at all. And、uh, for me. I try to use this one, and this one can work for us. We can make a copy of this command, and、uh, we can note this line of a command onto the subline. But we need to first to see the version of the Python on the target. So which Python? Yeah, Python two. Is not there, and the Python three execute. Yeah, Python three is there. So here we need to run command as Python three, but also we need to change the attacking IP address to our Kali Linux or attack IP address. Ten. And the port number should be the same as the port number as listener, right? Five five five. And then we can make a copy of this whole line. And then we can run this command. Execute, and we can go back to our terminal. To see, yes, we have already got the initial foothold on the target, and we can list the content. Yeah, we got the first ingre ingredient, and we can make a copy of this file name because this file name is very long and complicated. Yeah, we got the content of this file. We can make a copy and、uh, paste in here, and then we can answer the first question and submit. Yeah, it's correct. And next, we need to find the second ingredient. Okay, and、uh, we can go to the home directory. CD, sorry, maybe yeah, this one. CD Rick, and maybe we can make it to be interactive. This would be much better. Import a PTY module and spawn. Okay. And it looks like、uh, this is normal shell. 
or bash shell, and we got the second ingredients. But、uh, there is space between two words in the file name, so we can use the single quote and、uh, copy, paste in here. Yeah, now we got the second ingredient. Make a copy, and then we can copy the data from the clipboard and paste in here. Let's submit. Yeah, your answer is correct, which is fine. And the next, we need to get the last and the final ingredient. I think it must be inside the root directory. In other words, we need to elevate our privilege to root user. So how to do it? The first thing we need to check is to whether the www data user can run sudo, and we can run sudo with L option. Yeah, we can run all commands without supplying the password of root user. So it would be very very easy to elevate the privilege. We just run bin bash. As you can see from the banner, we have already become root user, and then we can navigate to root directory. Yeah, we can get this final ingredient, and we can make a copy. Of this ingredient, and then we can copy the data from the clipboard and paste in here. Let's submit. Okay, your answer is correct. Con congratulations. Okay, I think we have already completed this virtual machine of the pickle rig. I hope to. See you in the next one, in the series of try hack me. Okay, see you there. Bye.